Putting a reed valve on. Just trying to raise the port a little bit, just get it straight so it matches up real nice. I'm not really messing around with the bottom, a little wider. Just made the flow smoother. I'm gonna still working on this side more. This is the side I'm working on most, just so that it's nice and glidey. Same over here. I just got a little over there and take off. It's hard to see. I only just started. And then I still gotta do the intake, it's still stock. Where I got it from uh, Go Max Industries. Okay. On um, this update of living room workshop, you can see on the exhaust port, I didn't do much, to be honest with you. I raised it up a little bit, barely, maybe a millimeter or two. But really what I did is, it's hard to see in there, but there's some real bad, like, I guess they call them chafers or something like that, like bad angles, harsh angles. I just wanted a little more free flow. See, uh, down here, oh, I still got a, I got a little, I got a little burr on the end there. Just something, see, I didn't even there where it's dark gray. I didn't even touch that part, but there's a little bitty tiny burr I feel. I gotta just whack it. So really, see, I just, I level it off. I make it so it's free flow smooth. I don't really know that much about porting. I just, I understand the basics on engines and how they work. So here is the intake on the, you know, the cylinder head for the YD100 reed valve full reed valve system like i'm going full in like here look see, see they sent me this carburetor too i mean it's a good carburetor oko got a couple jets in it um which is cool but to be honest with you i had already bought a 24 millimeter i believe it is i think this one is either 19 or 21 millimeter I'm going to see what jet's coming in and everything, but I had already bought that 24 and thoughts of going into doing all this OKO. So it's didn't come in this nice box. This is a really nice box. It gives you a lot of information, which is nice to have. But the, uh, the one I bought is a 24 inch. And here, look how pretty this is, guys. Look at this. This is so pretty. This is some nice stuff, man. Gomax Industries. That's who I talked to Scott. All right, Scott at Gomax Industries. Look at this. So you see, uh, this is so. This is what I'm doing on. Let me let me not jump ahead too fast here on the port work. See how it's. I mean, it, it's it's a it's a flare. It's it's free flowing, but it's a jagged flow, which on the intake honestly doesn't matter. It helps atomize the fuel a little bit. But um, you see, it's hard to get the angles exact. But you see how, like, see the port. It's, I'm not touching the actual size of the port. I'm lowering it slightly on the intake, but up here. It's hard to get the right angle so you can see it. But see right there, I'm not even touching the edge yet. So I'm not gonna raise it, but I am knocking down this entire big lip. This has gotta be, this lip over here by my finger that I'm touching, this has got to be um, a good two to three millimeter lip. So I am, like I widened it slightly right there, um, but like it's really just a nice flow now. And I still, even right here, I can feel I'm still much wider here on the the angle. There's a there's an angle, so it's not it's not going it's not going straight yet. It's still slightly turning, and it's not that it's bad to have a turn, but that's I know it sounds crazy, but that is an obstruction when air is flowing through. And who knows if that gives me one more CFM, that's worth it. So you can see the poor work here I'm doing. I'm not I'm not really great at it, but this is really only like third cylinder I've ever even tried to do. But whatever, I think it looks pretty decent. Up here is real nice, nice smooth transition. Over here, real nice, tucked in. Now we're not, I'm not messing with the port timing. I am gonna lower this slightly, but you see it, if you can see, the very edge is still black on the edge. So I gotta, I still have to clean it up, but it's, I'm not actually changing the port timing. I don't wanna mess with that. This is the first time I've ever had a reed valve used a reed valve or anything like that. So um, I am really just trying to, you know, just trying to do my best on it. So uh, I wanna do the best, get the most free flowing, but uh, oh, here, then let me show you with the reed valve here. So boom, 
So that sucker goes on that sucker like this. Let me hold this in my legs like this. Boy, these YouTubers ain't fucking wrong with the whole, it's hard to hold stuff with one hand shit. Okay. So you see the basic idea there on how that goes. I mean, I could flop it and flip it the other way. I could just spin the top thing and have it come out the other side, but my exhaust is on that side. So I'm gonna have it come out this side. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it apart. I never took it apart yet since I got it, but boy, it's a pretty looking piece, isn't it? Scott at Go Max Industries. They're down in Pomp Pompey, Pompey Boy, Florida or something. I don't know. They're down in Florida. The Florida men. Can't really trust Florida men, but when it comes to auto sports that aren't exactly legal in your area, boy, they're good at it. <laughs> nah, but for real, uh, he's really looked me out. So, uh, you know, I'm waiting for the window piston. Um, I think I'm just going to window my piston, even though I really don't want to, just because... I don't want to so I always have a cylinder or a piston that's ready to go but I still I didn't do anything to the um, transfer ports yet now when I put the gasket on see that round edge that round edge right there right there how it's so rounded the gasket is definitely more straight cut more straight cut so if I can do that on both, I will. I got a couple bits down there that I'm gonna use. Oh, what's wrong with my camera? It's been shaky. I think I got a virus on my phone. Yeah, boy, look how they do this, man. They drill the hole right there. It's a regular stock cylinder head that they take. Now I'm probably gonna have to grind this out a little bit also. See right there, this whole little bit around the spark plug because my spark plug, I run an E3, uh, um, a 10, E3 uh, split fire, whatever it is. Um, spark plug because that is by far the best i mean it's um it's just a good one it's a short one too so it's a cool running plug which means i can run that sob wide open for a while and i do i run it i want it i run it hard this is my this is the second week since the accident two saturdays ago i crashed um, at 47 miles an hour straight to the pavement, it was pretty bad. I really hurt myself, can't believe I didn't break no bones. Uh, my arm is still swollen. Yesterday was the first day I was really on my bike for a good little bit since the accident. I've been licking my wounds pretty good. I definitely, definitely screwed up my knee and my elbow and my shoulder. I, I cannot believe the bones didn't snap, but it is what it is. I had a 32 two sprocket on the bike. I'll show you the bike later. I, I got a bunch of other videos I, I got. I just never put them up, um, cause I don't know. I just have it. Um, I'm horrible with doing videos and stuff. I'm good with my hands and making this stuff work, but I'm just not good at videoing. But I um, I want to get this on, and uh, I guess we'll go from there. I'll keep filling you in as I go with the ports and whatnot, because uh, I don't know. I mean, if you if you really turn my light back on here, hold on one second. Oh, it is on. It's horrible. I was pointing up, but um. Like, I mean, I don't know if you can see that, man. That is a, that's a really nice transition now. Like I, I got a, a stone, I'll, I'll smooth it down. But I mean, this was, this is a rough. I don't know if you can see the lips of the, whatever they use, I guess it's, it's like a hard black rubber, maybe like a JB Weld or something that they do use. Cause it, it takes a while to grind off. It doesn't just grind right off with this, uh, my Dremel and my little rotary bit. But, uh, you know, slow speed, like uh, two strokes, what is it, uh, two stroke ports, his channel, the guy that cusses a lot, I love him, Brian, I think his name is, he's good, you know, he always says, take your time, learn it, da 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 da, whatever, and all that other nonsense he talks about, and it's the truth, man, it is the truth, just take your time, and, you know, it's not hard to do, man, it's not brain surgery, you just gotta take your time and do it. But I I never wrote, I never ran this engine um, with the reed valve stock. I immediately am porting it and smoothing it out. I'm not gonna try it stock. It's just no point. I know I'm gonna want to take it off to do this, so why not just do it now? And it's gonna look real good. So, uh, but I'm also videoing it because I want Scott to see. I mean, he, he, they make a great product over there, but I want them to see what I'm doing with their product to take it to the next level. Maybe give myself a little bit of a sponsor going on there. That'd be pretty sweet, right? I don't ever know how that works, but I'll tell you what. Everywhere I go with my bike right now, and I'll show it to you. It's a, it's a, it's a like a '96 or I think '97 
1997 Cannondale frame and uh, it will it, it, it's it's a nice little bike um, really nice little frame I'd like to get a, a, a real official frame but we'll, we'll see we'll see how things go but uh, yeah I'll keep filling you in I'm sorry I'm rambling here but this is looking good so far and, and we are back so I said I'll bring you in when I'm done. It's, it's not the best. I mean, it's, well, my camera's real shaky. What in the world is going on? Let's see if we beat it for a little help. Yeah, it didn't help at all. I can actually hear the camera vibrating. So whatever. Anyway, I um, see that edge right there. I made it fit the gasket just slightly better at that right here, that, that little corner. See that corner right there? Just on both of them. Just because the gasket, I didn't go that deep. I don't have a long Dremel to fit down there. See where it's still black? So I just, I faded it in so that it would fit. And so, that, you know, as far as I could reach in, I tried to make it be gradual, no steep steps. And then down there, it's there was just a big lip. So I was trying to get that lip out of there. I know it's not very good. It is what it is, though. I'm sure it'll be fine. I just wanted to get the lip to make it smooth. I gotta order some long Dremel bits. I do not have any. Now the exhaust. There you go, see? Nice round. Open it up the top a little bit there for you. Top is good. I didn't really want to touch the bottom too much. I smoothed it slightly, but the walls. See, after I'm done with the, I don't know what you want to call it, the milling bit, whatever you want to call it. But once I'm done with that, I go back in with a stone try to get all those real bad bumps and cuts off this is still pretty rough but it just keeps bouncing on me so i don't know whatever it seems pretty good to me honestly i had a, like i said the spark plug i had to make a little bigger so i could fit the spark plug in there and then boom here's the money side this is the side that talks to you so i didn't really mess with the hole I lowered it slightly. I'm gonna try to overlap. I've never actually edited a video before, so I'm gonna try to overlap when I started and then that shot I gave you guys in the middle to what the final is. So you can see how much I changed the hole. It maybe lowered it a millimeter or two, but all I did was get rid of that big bump from where the, the plate meets the cylinder. See how it meets? And it, it goes in, and then they put these two screws up top here, and there, down there, some screws, see? So they just really pin this thing and screw it in there. But then what they really do is whatever's in there that they use to hold it to it, that black stuff that was in there, that is, uh, you saw in this first clip, the second clip when I went halfway. Like, but that just looks real good now. Look at that. That is a nice looking port right there, boy. Nice, smooth, all the transitions, and everything's real pretty. That should go ahead and grip real nice for me. All right, well, I'm all done with this for now. I just gotta put it on now, I guess, right? But uh, for now, it is good to go. So I just wanted to fill you guys in so you could see. That's all. So uh, when I go to put it on the bike, and actually, uh, start it and whatnot we'll see what happens oh i didn't even show you guys this but look boom go max tr50 that's their yd100 you know 50 millimeter bore so i'm gonna put this sticker somewhere on my bike i'm gonna get like a little plate i think because i bought a speedometer but i need to run the 12 volt so i'm not sure I, I had the 12 volt system on there for a little bit ellie hoover was doing it i think he was on the right path but i think he gave up um, they sell a little special charging thing for the generator. I went out and bought an AC converter.